Okay, in this video, we're going to actually show you how to play this game. First of all, what you want to understand is you want to know what the minimum bet is so you don't get into a table where the minimum bets are way over your bankroll. In this particular case, you look at the minimum bet sign posted by the dealer and it's $5. So a $5 game is good for me, so I'm going to buy in. I've got my buy-in money right here. I'm going to buy in for $300. You take your $300 and throw it to the cum and say change only or checks. So the dealer knows that he just received $300, which he passes over to the box person sitting in the middle. He counts the $300, okays the, uh, the dealer to send you the checks, and they will actually pass them to you. And you take them over here. And what you should do is recount the checks to make sure that you're receiving the exact amount that you've paid for. In this case, it was $300. So in this case, I've got... 200 in green, 75, 90 in, in red, and $10 in white. So now it's okay to pick the checks up or the chips, put them in your rack. And at this particular game, you're the only one here. So now <clears throat> the dealers aren't going to do anything until you make a pass line bet. So since we discussed this is a minimum of $5, well, I'm going to make a $5 pass line bet right here. Now the stick person standing to my right is a bowl, has a bowl of five dice in it. She's going to dump them in front of me. I'm going to pick out any two. She will take the other three back and put in the bowl. So now the game is ready to begin. We haven't established a point because this is the first roll, and I want to remind you we're just going to randomly throw the dice in this particular video because it's a basic video. Pick up the two dice with one hand only. You've got to keep them over the table. You can't take them off the table. One hand only, throw to the opposite end of the table, Okay, there was a yo 11. The stick person grabs the dice, takes them to the center of the table, and now the dealer pays out the pass line. You just threw a natural winner, which was a, a, a yo or an 11. The dealer just paid you on the pass line, so now you can take that chip and pick it up and put it in your rack. Now you're ready to go again. The box lady, in this case, will retrieve the dice with a stick, put them in front of you. You're ready to pick them up. You haven't established a point yet because you threw a natural winner. Throw the dice, hit the wall with both dice each and every time. Now we've got a 10, a six on one die and a four on the other. So the stick person takes the dice, puts them in the center of the table, just in the middle of the prop bets. And now the puck will go to the 10. Okay, now I've established a point of a 10. So in this, in this particular game, I can take triple odds behind the line. So I'm going to put triple odds, which is three units. And since the sister number is the four, I'm going to make a $10 bet on the four, which you put them out here into the come, and the dealer will uh, place those up here for you. And I'm also going to place the six and eight because there's more ways to make a six and eight than any other number of the table. So you put them in the come, and the dealer will actually place those bets for you. You don't do that yourself. And now I'm ready to roll for the second time. So now the stick person will retrieve the two dice. Put them in front of you as the shooter. And I want to remind you as the shooter, you have to make a bet, either the pass line or the don't pass. When other people, if there's other people at the table and they're shooting, you don't have to make any bets uh, until you're ready to. So I've got the dice. Both dice hit the back wall. Random throw, I threw a six. Five, one. The stick person retrieves the dice back to the middle of the table. Now this is when the dealer pays out on the six because I had $12 on the six and he's gonna pay me. Okay, the dealer's just paid off your six. You had a $12 six and they've just paid you $14. $7 for every six. Two units of six pays 14. You pick the money up, put it in your rack. Now the stick person will get the dice, send them back to you. The game is ready to go. As soon as the payouts are all made, the dice are to you. As soon as you get the dice, you are ready to pick them up and throw them to the end, hitting the back wall each and every time. Now that one I got snake eyes, aces. 
that does not affect this game at all because I had no prop bets out here. I didn't have a cum bet over here. So the snake eyes are meaningless. It doesn't affect this particular hand. So basically it was a wasted roll. So now the stick person is going to send me the dice. Let's see if we can get a number besides uh, these crapper numbers. We want a 10, an 8, or a 4. There's a 9. Okay, the player in this case did not have any money on the 9. We'll look at the box number here. The box is empty. There's no monies there. So another wasted roll, a roll that doesn't, pay, doesn't mean anything because you didn't have any money on it. Now let's try this again. Remember, these are just random rolls. We're not setting. and We're not precision shooting. We're just randomly throwing. There's my 10, okay? There's the 10, hard weight 10, 55. Dice go to the middle, okay? Now the, the stick man's going to say, pay the line and take the dunks. Okay, you made a decision because you, you, your point was you established a 10. Uh, after two or three rolls, you, you got your 10, so now you got your payouts. You're going to pick up your monies, put it back in your rack, and now basically the game starts all over again. 7 or 11 wins, any crap loses, you're still the shooter, and it just recycles until you don't, make a, 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 don't complete a point. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.